This show explores graphic and disturbing stories and includes strong language. It may not be suitable for young audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Coffin Chronicles. I'm Sha. And I'm Nick. And on this channel, we unearth stories about true crime, mysteries, and paranormal events that happened right here in the Philippines. All while doing our makeup. So this is inspired by all the beauty gurus out there that paved the way in mixing the two things that we love the most. Crime and concealer. By no means are we pros in beauty or crime or the paranormal world. Mm -hmm. We just really love telling each other these stories and discovering all of these creepy and also like weird stories online while we do our makeup. So if you haven't seen our other videos yet, go check them out right now. Just like we mentioned in our previous video, August is our birthday month. And so since we cannot go out, we thought, why not celebrate it online? So we're doing that by inviting our closest friends to do and talk about the things that we love the most. And in this episode, we're going to talk about our personal true crime stories and our brush with some real life creep. Right, so let's bring out the person that we invited tonight. Another friend from college and one of our bestest friends. The person that I literally grew up and grew old with. Hamida! Poppers style. Anyway, so um thank you so much for joining us tonight. Kasi nga the bestest kana namin kinulet to do this and finally accepted. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so before we get started with all the chikahan, let's go in straight with our makeup. Because as you can see, we already did our brows. So yes. for tonight, we'll be doing jag. Introduce mm. yourself, please. Hi, my name is Jen. <laughs> you wanna tell them like what you do or nasang lupa alup ko ba? Sa LDR kaming tatlo. Ako, nandito ako sa Kuwait since 2013. Yeah, right after college. And then, boom, we see the law sa Pinas. For these two people. Talaga. Ah, parang... Uh, <laughs> Shout out lang, single ako. Ay! 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 Yes. So, kaya pala siya pumakas. Yes. Hmm, Why? alam na natin. <laughs> Kung sinong interesado, mag-comment down below. Bigay na lang namin yes. yung number to profile. <laughs> Okay, so na established natin we're doing drag today. Ano bang inspiration mo for tonight's look? To be honest, <laughs> wala. <laughs> wala. I'm just gonna, you know, trust my creativity. Artist well, okay. nga pala to, so if you yeah, guys are interested in artists, you know, nga. she does a lot of paintings. Benta talaga to for tonight. PM is key. Yeah, yeah, so is it your first time doing drag jam? Feeling na kayo makeup. Ano yung drag makeup? Drag, I need drag ba? Matukhang tayo ha, my God. Ay, hirap na ha. Drag makeup. So, sabi ko, ah, mga intense makeup. To answer your question, this is my first time doing drag makeup. Actually, I do love makeup, but I don't do makeup. Yeah. Ay, usually ibang tao yung minimakeup ano. Yes. So, because as we promised, this is not just about makeup. And this is Talking Chronicle. Tonight, we are talking about our real life brush with crime, really. Yung kukulo yung dugong mo. Crime. What was your first true crime experience like ever? Like, have you ever seen a crime scene or witnessed like a crime happening like, right in front of your eyes before? Well, I hope personally. Crime scene na lang siya. Wala na yung, wala na yung body or anything. Ang nakita ko na lang is yung mismong scene niya. <laughs> so, natin kasi, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yung scene niya, no, no crime. So, <laughs> diba? <laughs> well, ikaw, Jam. For me, wala eh. Normally dito, kapag kanyang may nangyari and stuff, agad-agad kasi nilang tinatakpan yung, yung body. Bring up ko lang, I think nakalimutan lang to ni Jam. But this was a shared experience, but it's mostly her. I don't know where we were going, but nasa jeep tayo. Mm-hmm. Kaling tayong school, mga naka-uniform pa tayo. Tapos, ito yung time sa Cavite, at least sa Dasma, na nauuso yung gimmick ng mga magnanakaw na susukahan ka nila. And then, yung time na yun, yung laptop mo, nasa ilalim lang ng bag mo, nakalabas, nakapatong. Oh, yeah. And then, di ba, hinugot nung magnanakaw yung 
laptop mo. And ang funny doon, for you guys, si John kasi maliit lang siyang tao. And so, yung lakas ng loob niya, ang laki. So, imagine, magnanakaw, tinabihang ka, naramdaman mong hinugot yung laptop mo. Tapos, yung tao katabi niya, mind you, medyo malaki yung lalaki ah. Kasi yung head niya, medyo tumatama na doon sa roof ng jeep. Nabang ko yung point na, oh, si Kijang tuloy po na. <laughs> Sorry, kasi tuwang-tuwa ako kay Jam. Sige, go Jam. <laughs> Hey, exactly. You remembered the whole thing. I'm like, kasi yung view ko, titang-tita ko talaga nasa harap nila ako eh. Sobra ako na amazed. <laughs> At tinitigan mo lang pala. Oo, <laughs> oh, tinitigan ko lang. That's a friend. That's a true friend right yep. there. Oh, oh. Hmm. Ang bilis kaya nang nangyari. Ang ginawa ni John, ang una-una niyang ginawa, tumihin siya sa kanan niya. Tapos sinabi dun sa magnanakaw, nasa yung laptop ko. Ilabas mo yung laptop ko. <laughs> Tapos ang tapang ko niya, as in, hindi siya nagdalawang isip na shit, makasaksakin ako nito. Tapos sobrang na-intimidate siguro yung magnanakot. Pero ano nasa isip mo yung jam? I don't know, wala akong ano, takot ng time na yun eh. And even until now, super lakas talaga ng loob ko na automatically eh. Kayo ba? Hindi ba kayo nat- natatakot ba kayo? Well, never pa makasin ang okay. sa akin yun. So, yeah. May similar things, uh, no, kasama kasi yung bunso kong kapatid. So, kakawidro ko na nun, and then after na nag-grocery kami ni bunso, and then sabi ko kay bunso, hawakan mo muna yung mga things ko. Cellphone, la, uh, wallet, and everything. So, ako na yung mag-grocery and stuff. So, mm-hmm. she just needs to follow. Tapos, all of a sudden, na nasa fruit stand ako, um, there's this guy mm-hmm. na nabuka sa akin without even picking up a fruit. So, that, that was weird. Pagka, ano, siguro mga after two to three rows ng fruit stand, tinignan ko yung bunso. Mm-hmm. Tapos, sabi ko, baby, where's my things? Where's my cell phone pati oh, wallet? And then, parang uh-huh. sabi niya, may bumangga sa akin tapos biglang yung pagkakita ko na wala na yung mga gamit. So, the, the mistake was, right. she was like looking at the trolley and then may bumangga lang sa kanya and then, mm-hmm. diverting the tension niya and then, bumalik agad yung instinct ko na yung guy na bumangga. So, sinakbo ko yung guy because he was like looking at me without buying. Okay. And then, he ko yung sando niya kasi like, hindi siya tumakbo pero he was walking fast. And then, there's no guard which is weird. Nandun yung camera. So, doon ko siya kinawestion. Sabi ko, Kuya, um, excuse me po, yung, may kinuha po ba kayo sa gamit? Um, bakit niyo po ako binangga gata ganyan? And then sabi niya, Huh? And he was very defensive. Siyempre ngayon ko lang na-realize nung kanakwento ko na, oh nga, defensive siya. Mm-hmm. Kaya sabi ko, Kuya, nakawala no, yung gamit ko eh. Ganyan, bakit niyo po ako binangga? Saka bakit po kayo nasustol? Like, kinawestion ko na ang dami na. And then he was like, Wala lang, gusto ko lang magpalamig. Eh, bababababababla. Sabi ko, Kuya, pwede sumama mo na po kayo sa guard. Sa, ano, hanapin lang po natin yung guard. Gusto ko lang po makita yung camera, uh, yung CCTV and all. Mm-hmm. And then, at that point, he was like, Kaya naman, i-store mo mo. All this kind of stuff. So, end of the day, nayaan ko na lang siya and all. Nawala yung allowance namin tatlo, tatlo magkakapatid. Tapos yung tour ni Bunso. Laki. Oh, shit. Yeah, super laki. So, sobrang laki. Kaya sobrang lakas ng lo. Wala na, parang for me, wala na ang pakailam kapag may nawalang, like, very low value ng time na yun. But then, if it was that high, nakakalimutan ko na it might be, ano, it might be dangerous. Last minute ko na lang siya naiisip eh. Actually, Jam, kayo nung kinakwento mo na, hindi ko alam kung bakit siya nakatingin sa akin. Ang una ko naisip is, well, maniac lang kasi siguro siya. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Kasi, I mean, It's not to say na feeling natin ang ganda natin or something, but let's admit it, whatever you look like or however you dress, kapag manyak ang lalak, manyak siya. Mm-hmm. So, with that, I, I, I know for a fact na you guys experience um, different types of kamanyakan. And maybe you wanna share your stories about it. Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, let me just get the list. <laughs> so, yung pinaka- First experience ko ever with stuff like that. I would say like elementary, because back in Kuwait, pa to eh. um, <laughs> Ironically, kaya to pa yung ano, yung pupunta kami sa church ni Ate Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Tita. Hi. Ano na alam mo pa to? Sorry, wait lang. Shower out lang kay Tita na miss ko na yung horoscope readings mo sa amin. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, go continue. Anyway, so ayun na nga. Uh, where was I? Elementary days pa to or high school days? Uh, high school. I would say high school. Um, in Kuwait, and then ito pa yung time na nagbus kami papuntang church kasi like na late yung mom ko and then she can't pick us up ng time na yon so we're like ay sige kumit na lang kasi malapit lang naman saglit lang naman so mahilig kami umupo sa harapan and then like parang wala kasing tao talaga sa loob ng bus so sige wala kami ng seat and then there was this guy that 
got in the bus the next stop. So, in my head, I'm like, okay, just another guy, kasal siya ng bus, whatever. Pero, pumasta siya sa likuran ko. And this was when I was so naive. He was doing something. Na parang, of course, kasi dito, pag naka-lean back kasi chair, like, some of your hair will get in the way, or basta parang lose na sutsa dito sa likod. Hindi naman kasi siya yung full seat, eh, parang. Basta, makakarating yung hair mo sa likod and stuff. Oh my God. And then, like, I could feel, I could feel like, alam mo, kahit dulo naman eh, di ba, when you run your hands through your hair, like, you kind of feel the tugs. Yeah. So, medyo naramtaman ko yun. I'm like, hindi, baka, it's like, gumagalo-galo ako. Hindi, baka, ano lang. This is me, like, reasoning out. Hindi, fine, it's fine. It's not doing anything. Nasa, nasa isip mo lang yun. And then, like, it still keeps going. Napalingon si Tita at that time. Then, sabi niya, lipat ka sa tabi ko. And then, of course, I'm feeling uncomfortable na. Like, okay, there's a chance. Lipat na ako. When I moved to her spot, tapos lumingon ako sa kanya, naka, naka-hunch over yung guy, like, sa chair, ako ganon. <gasps> Yun. <laughs> naka-hunch over siya. And then, in my head, I'm still, hindi. Maybe I'm just freaking out. Maybe I'm just making shit up. But finally, it was our stop. We got off. Then, sabi ni Tita sa akin, ano, like, hindi mo ba napapansin? Or basta parang nagagalit na siya dun sa guy. Na parang, ang manak-manak naman niya. Yada yada, parang he was touching himself dun sa likod ko, touching my hair. Like, <laughs> Ganun siya ka-pervert na kahit buhok lang. Oh, oh, kahit buhok lang. Man, man. And mind you, we were going to church. So yung outfit ko is church appropriate. Okay? Na parang, <laughs> diba? Na parang you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna wear your Sunday best. You're gonna cover up. All right, and you're back. Sorry, we had to step away and kind of finish our faces because we had some <laughs> technical difficulties. Um, but here we are, the name progress. So going back to our topic, Kanina, um, who wants to go next? Yeah, so I know. I think it was one of our birthday celebrations. Space. We went out with Gab. Hey Gab. Tapos, um, we went with him, and we also went with two of his friends. So we went to this. It's not really secluded, but you have to ride a small boat. So we went there. That's overnight tent lang. Okay. So we were having fun, you know, like enjoying the beach, ganyan. Tapos, one of Gab's friends had to leave nung gabi. Nalala ko pa, nakisabay siya dun sa maliit na bangka. Pa- parang pang isahang tao lang. Tapos, yung takot natin kasi parang kakainin sila ng alon. <laughs> Anyways, so, apat na lang tayo dun. I think, nauna ako natulog kasi napagod ako. Tapos, so, yun, nag- nasa beach pa. Lalahad-lahad, yun, start gazing. Anyways, middle of the night, nagising ako because the friend of Gab was touching my boobies. Ooh. Apparently, tumabi siya sa akin. And I guess siguro ano na una siyang mapumasok sa inyo no Nix kasi for sure if na una si Nix sa tabi ako ni Nix for sure so um you don't remember that night I feel like sobrang abogbagod yeah lahat kami galing pang Manila tas commute lang and before we even got to the beach marami kaming nagtagay type at a time noon eh basta may mga stopovers yeah 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 so as in talagang bagsak talaga yeah so what I did was parang medyo dumapa na ako ng konti para hindi hindi niya na magalaw pero I don't know why but I didn't react. Parang at that moment, I know I'm supposed to like get everyone's attention, wake up everyone, para tumigil yeah. siya. Pero yung brain ko just didn't function that way at that moment. So, I think may ganun why? pala. Mm-hmm. Dati kasi, parang inisip ko, bakit ba hindi nilang kayo lumalaban kapag na-abuse kayo? Pero, totoo pala talaga yung nag, nag-brain fart ka. Parang sobrang nasa-shock yung system mo, yung brains mo, na parang hindi, parang ang ang gagawin mo na lang is to protect yourself versus you defend yourself. And then, so that's what I did. So, medyo dumapa ako para there's no way for him to reach my my breasts na. Pero, um, eventually, naramdaman ko, he was really getting, he was really trying to scoop putting effort to it. Yeah, so parang ako, what the fuck? Tos, so, dumapa talaga ako completely. Tos, I just tried to sleep. And I didn't even tell anyone the morning after. Kasi, in my brain, like, okay, we're having a vacation. I don't want to ruin anyone's day. Especially not Nick's and Gab's. Kasi, I'm mean, sobrang stressed. So, work. And I also was trying to just sort of enjoy the moment. Forget about what happened that night. And just fill it with more relaxing um memory. So, actually, han- hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa mm, kinoconfront yung friend ni Gab. Is he a cool huh? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he is a, he was a college friend, what? right? Kaya we kaya nga ano, para actually nung sinabi ko din kay Gab, parang hindi din siya napa what the fuck din siya kasi syempre hindi yeah, like the, the first gut reaction was what what how, how could he do this? Eh? Para may gano moment eh. At saka that alam mo yun, parang sobrang laks ng loob niya. It got me thinking na okay, feeling ko hindi niya to first time gawin. Right. Kasi 
you're with your friend, the or did did so sorry to there, ask. So was there any bias. motivation? Um, uh, parang, well, coming we, from me, yeah. na parang feeling I was flirting with him. No, remember I don't date friends. I don't even flirt well, with day, friends. Like he, he's not really our. I think like time the other one's not our friend. Like yeah, he's but just a friend of friends. Friend. Ni, ni it's like okay. Like, I mean, like he, he doesn't know that. So, parang do you think there could have no. been parang ano? Girl, because like, moment kayo. Because uh, when? Oh well, no, when, when you we went to the left, the yeah. like, black screen. Then we were coming the other one. Yeah. We barely spoke. I was on my phone. So it's just really. Yen lang talaga siya. Kasi meron lang bakalong number. Ano feeling niya na pahinga ako nang? Kasi meron bakalong. And even if I was flirting with him, do that while I was sleeping. Yeah, yeah. that's still like crossing a line. <laughs> so weird. Diba? That's just so what the fuck. At saka, sobrang lakas. And hmm. then, the fact na sobrang lakas ang loob niya na gagawin niya yun kahit na may possibility na ikwento ko the following morning. Yeah, like parang na misinterpret niya na may something going on. Una una, it's like, why did he do it while we were sleeping? And then second, you already kind of turned away, so parang yun na dapat yung signal na no. Yeah. Pero ginawa pa niya ulit. So parang... Was he drunk or something? Is he... Um... Again, we did not drink. We're, weirdly, we did not drink that night. Just to wrap the story up, like we said in our intro, we usually go out kapag birthday namin and, you know, try to celebrate it with each other. So that's what we did a few years ago. I forgot what year. We went to Mahati. And then, nag-stay uh, kami sa isang hotel doon. Kami tatlo. We checked in in the hotel. Para ang plano kasi namin is uh, mag-bar hopping kami. Just, you know, enjoy the night. And the following morning, we wanted to take pictures sa pool. And we actually wanted to swim. Kaso nung nandun na kami, uh, may couple. So parang nahiya na kami. Like, picture-picture na lang kami. And we have this thing kasi na as much as possible, we wanna uh, match our clothes. We were all wearing white shirts. So, may sleeveless, may spaghetti strap, may t-shirt, you know, basta white top. And then, I got them as a gift. I got them red shorts. Tapos, nakalagi sa likod, lifeguard. Kasi nga, di ba, we're swimming and all. So, yung pool kasi, nasa rooftop, tapos parang may mini bar doon. But since umaga siya, sarado yung mini bar. So, pool lang and you can just chill there. Relax ka lang. Okay lang yun sa kanila. And then, well, sa so sobrang ganda natin, we got one, <laughs> one person's attention. <laughs> And then, biglang, he came out from the elevator. He was just uh, looking at us. And then there was, I think, waiter or something. Mm-hmm. He got our attention na uh, sabi niya, mag-ingat tayo or something. Pero, sa so laki-laki ng place, sa daming chairs and tables available, he decides to, like, do a, like, a three around around us. <laughs> yeah. Us, like, check us out. And then, sat the, on the table next to us. And right. then, we, we just didn't pay him any mind. But of course, he kind of felt that it was odd. And then, yun na, yun na yung punta na tayo sa elevator kasi we decided, okay, he's acting creepy. We don't want to disturb your moment ng couple. Wag na tayo mo saying, let's just go back down. And then, we had plans kasi that day. So, parang, we wanted a real quick dip in the pool. So, yun nga. So, hindi namin siya pinansin. Pumasok kami sa elevator. And this fucking bastard. Mind you, he was a foreigner and he was old. Like, maybe 40s, late 40s going to 50s. Mm-hmm. Right. So, ano, yung itsura right. niya. And then, so, hindi na namin siya pinapansin and he was trying to come at us pero dead ma kami. It's more of like me and Nick na dead ma. Si Jam. Medyo palaban talaga to si ate mo. <laughs> so, pagpasok namin na elevator, pumasok din siya. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Tapos, eto na nga. Nag, ano na siya, nag-propose na siya na parang sabi niya ko Mary. Joke lang, hindi. Sabi niya, <laughs> sabi niya, parang, does any one of, does the three of us want to join him? So, parang mm-hmm. kami, tapos, <laughs> kami ni Nix, tapos kami dalawa ni Nix, parang sila tayo namin, okay, you do not exist. Mm-hmm. You're not here. We're not even looking at you. We don't, we don't, no. We don't exist. Tapos, ito si Jam, Sabi ni Jam, no. Talaga, mm-hmm. ang liit-liit tala- to talaga ang babae ito. <laughs> Siya talaga ng no. Tapos, ito namang si Kuya, sabi niya, oh kahit sa- dalawa na lang kayo. He guys didn't answer anything. Again, <laughs> so, yeah. yan na kami. Tapos, anong sabi ni Jam? Jam, anong sabi mo? No! Exactly, <laughs> di ba? Sagot, tuloy no. siya, sagot. 
<laughs> Tapos finally, sabi naman nung guy na um, parang sabi niya, kahit isa sa inyo, wala, ayaw, ganyan. So, <laughs> yeah, bargain again, again, ako. again, anong sabi mo, Jam? No, heck no. <laughs> I heck no, I said heck no. <laughs> diba? Tapos, di siyempre, deep down, natataranta na rin kami ni Nick, sasasabi namin, kung ina, baka mamaya, hablutin na lang isa sa atin dito bigla. Mm-hmm. Kasi he was tall. He was really tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. Nung bumaba kami sa floor namin, I think isa yun sa mali natin na we went to our um correct floor. Yeah. yeah. Looking back, I I think we should have went to the lobby. Space. Another, yeah. And then reported him. Nung pagbaba natin ng elevator, sabi niya, oh, uh, same floor, ganyan. Sabi niya, kung, kung we change our mind daw, binibigay pa niya yung room number yeah. niya. So, what the fuck? Pwede na lang din ako. <laughs> Dapat we took his room number tapos na-report natin sa ano. Yan na nga eh. Natin ginawa, eh. Yeah, yeah. So, again, di ba, dun nagpa-factor in yung you just want to protect yourself versus... No, like, get away. So, more like flight versus fight. Jump yeah, yeah. Fight, yun na like, nga. Like, no. <laughs> so, my God, no. So, yeah, my God. Be, be safe first before anything else. So, and then we went to our room tapos na stress na tayo. Imbis tuloy magba-brunch pa tayo kasi we were we were so worried na baka nandun sa labas like just lurking, waiting. Napa-order tuloy tayo. <laughs> so, yeah. Tuloy tayo. Sobrang nasira yung araw namin dahil sa kanya. Dahil sa proposal niyang feeling niya kakagatin namin. <laughs> dahil nadala yun dahil sa damit natin, promise. Even so, what the fuck? Yeah, so those are our, you can say, horror story. So, wait, di ba, di ba, may mga tips tayo para kung ano yung mga ginawa. Hindi lang naman for a kanyuan, para may makulit naman kayo. <laughs> na mabuti. Yes. Dito. Yeah, so tip, let me see. From the recent kwento is, if mas mosunod sa'yo, try to find someone of authority, police, guard, right. anyone that can help you in the situation. Don't go to your actual floor like we did. Don't do what we did. <laughs> Right. Basically. Um, and, uh, um, wear appropriate clothes and if not, I mean, if you think you're like, wearing appropriate clothes. Let's, let's fucking talk about that a bit more. I'm glad you said appropriate clothes. Because majority of the time that I got, I, I don't know about you guys, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of the time that I got sexually harassed was when I was wearing jeans and a fucking t-shirt. The appropriate clothes. Yeah, the appropriate daily clothes. Right. I mean, the, um, yeah, just jeans and a t-shirt. It wasn't even like super hapit at the mm-hmm. time, like at those times. And then, like, what one going to church wearing my Sunday's best. The other time was I was going to work, so I was wearing formal or like proper clothes. Then I did what I had to do, I was wearing the appropriate clothes to not get pushed. And yet, still, and I was wearing the approaches. Yeah, same with me actually. So I was wearing a baggy um, sweatpants and a baggy t-shirt. No high school ako yung uniform ko. Pa- lagi ako ina- lagi kami actually inaasar na parang Girl Scout kasi yung dress namin parang pang Girl Scout. Mm-hmm. So below the, way below the knee. And even if nung nandun tayo sa pool, we were wearing appropriate clothes yeah. for that okay. location. Hindi pa nga tayo a- to change into like our swim suits eh. So, okay. like, kung bikini or one piece, so we're still fully clothed. Na not shorts, not t-shirt. Yeah, you got it. I mean, if whether we're wearing appropriate clothes or not, like, yung tip mo nga na, go to, uh, make sure, make sure na merong, kung mapupuntaan other than, ano. And then, go to play, crowded places mm-hmm. or pretend that you are on the phone. Or, might as well, like, what people uh, usually do nowadays is that they grab their phone and then, turn their video on. Kasi, oh yeah, I, I mean, ang hirap lang panggapin na kailangan tayo yung nag adjust for them. Mm-hmm. Pero, as of now, we just have to be um, very mindful of our surroundings. I, mm-hmm. I understand yung urge na mag-earphones ka all the time. Pero, at the same time, kailangan din kahit pa paano aware ka sa nangyayari sa paligid mo. Kasi we're not just talking about um, harassment, but we're also talking about yung mga nakaw. So, kung hindi, kung hindi quick yung thinking ni Jam, kung hindi siya aware sa nangyayari sa paligid niya, I don't think mababawi niya yung laptop niya. And ano, di ba meron ano, pepper spray? Is that? Mm-hmm. May nabibili online and sa, at least ako yung nabili namin dati sa Divisoria, yung flashlight pero taser din siya. Oh yeah, yeah. Mas 
at least personally, like, parang mas ina-advise ko yung teaser because, like, the sound of it pa lang. Parang makaka-ano na siya. Intimidate. Yeah. Versus mm-hmm. pepper spray. Kasi, alam ko yung pepper spray, if, like, mahingan ka, then? Yeah. Baka pag pa ganun yung hangin, hindi mo napansin. Uh, yeah. Kaya mapupunta. Ayan. So, I think that concludes. Concludes okay. talaga. <laughs> that wraps everything up. Also, siguro to all the moms or like titas who are watching this video, maybe we could start um, teaching our like son or daughters and mm-hmm. um, our mga pamangkens the the importance of consent. Mm-hmm. Na habang bata pa, we should instill it in their brains na hindi maganda yung ganong klaseng pang-aasar. Kunyari, mm-hmm. akala mo asar-asar lang hindi nila na-realize na mali na pala talaga yun. And the value of saying no. Na kapag sinab, pagka halimbawa, especially to the younger kids na babae, mm-hmm. you don't have to do anything that the elders um, told you to. Especially kapag halimbawa, kiss or hug. ba diba? Kung ang comfortable ka talaga, don't do it. Doon lang ah, hindi mga utos. Yung mga utos, <laughs> sandin niyo. Ano <laughs> Baka sabihin niyo, oh, sabi ko sa video, pag sabi ko, no, no. <laughs> sa mga utos lang. Ay, sa mga utos, sa mo? Sa mga, um, doon sa mga bagay na uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Educating our youth is very, very important. Mm-hmm. So true. Yun. That, yeah. So that, it's like, yung yeah, corona. <laughs> So oh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. First of all, to Jam. Hi, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Na, kasi si Jam, mahapal yung mukha niya, but mahiyain siya at the same time. So, <laughs> but, it's so, weird in front of a camera. Oh, thank you. Nag-effort talaga si Jam. Bumili pa siya ng maraming makeup. Ginawa niya kaming excuse para makapag-chop. Ay, hindi. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Pero in all honesty, na naging ano, naging ang like, sabi ko, ay, gusto ko na bumuli ng makeup din. Because I saw your video. Nice one. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Napag-gastos natin <laughs> siya. Ay, mag-gastos niyo ako. Puri po talaga ako, guys. <laughs> ah, naka. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mwah. And of course, thank you so much, guys, for joining us today in celebrating our birthday month. And that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have your very own true crime experiences or just some tips on how to stay safe on the streets, don't forget to comment it down below or link with us on Instagram and Facebook. And as usual, like, follow, and subscribe, and click that notification bell icon below so you won't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching us. Until next time.